how long does it take to detox with binders? How long do you need to be on binders? Good question. And the answer is it's different for everyone. I know it's an awful answer. I wish I wish I could say, take this binder and this binder and uh, you'll be okay in three months, but it doesn't work that way. Some people's bodies are ready to detox, push those mycotoxins out. Their kidneys are happy. Their liver is happy. Their bile flows great. They're pooping. Everything's working awesome. We have those people. Usually the younger they get, the better it works, right? They're not as toxic and don't have as many problems, but um, it can take, it, it depends. Some people, can, it can take years to get rid of uh, all the, all the different aspects and mycotoxins from mold. It depends on their air quality. You know, you're never going to find a home with no mold. You're never going to find a home without some level of mycotoxins. So it comes down to where are you? Are you trying to heal with stachyon, ketomium and fusarium in your house? Or are you just dealing with a little bit of aspergillus and penicillium and lemia? You know, there's so many variables. Now you specifically said that your, let me check here, my 88 year old dad has been on binder for six months. His confusion, anger, anxiety, and light sensitivity are much better, but I don't know when to stop the binders. Well, first of all, awesome. You guys are doing great work. If he's bouncing quick in six months, I love it. That's awesome. Keep doing what you're doing, but this is why I run the labs at the start. You know, you, you've heard me a million times. I'm sure if you watch these videos, start with clean air and labs. Okay. Get the relief for your body with clean air, get the lab. So we know what we're dealing with and they give us a bar to measure progress by. So if you had labs, you'd, you could see his ochratoxin A was here, his mycophenolic acid was here, his aflatoxin B1 was here, his citrinin was here. And then in six months, you can retest and say, okay, where are they at now? And hopefully, hopefully, I mean, with the symptoms dropping this well, they're down 50%, 75%, okay? That would be wonderful, but this is why I like labs. I'll link to the lab with this video, but this is why we test so that we we know. Now, can you just go by symptoms? Absolutely. If he feels good enough, do it maybe. If, if his symptoms are gone, maybe do it three months after that. What I, I have people uh, backwards here, stay on sludge for maintenance. Like my every single water bottle has it in, humic and fulvic acid. Why? Because it's not stripping anything. It's literally giving minerals. Every drink I take, I'm getting trace minerals from that humic and fulvic acid. So it's giving me something good with every drink and it has no taste. That's why I love it. And it's also taking, so it's a binder. It's grabbing not just mycotoxins, but metals and other uh, environmental toxins to help get them down to the liver and kidneys for excretion. So I would, I, I recommend people to stay on a maintenance dose of something that's easy like this because it's not pills. It's, it's a tasteless powder that you can drink throughout the day. Uh, but yeah, if he's feeling good, I, I'm very impressed with what you guys have done. I'm, I'm very, uh, happy to hear that he's feeling better. But if he's once he's symptom free, just continue it at what you were doing for three months and then fall back to a maintenance dose. That's what I would do. Hope that helps. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, aka the Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing. 